three speakers today, and uh, we thank you very much for joining us. So our first speaker is Countess Luann de la Seps. Um, she is an established author, singer, and the hit of the Bravo TV show, The Real Housewives of New York. She is a major holy fan, as she'll tell you, and we thank her for having us. Thank you. I guess I don't need a microphone, right? <laughs> um, it's great to be here today with all of you. I am a big Goldies fan, and a lot of you probably don't know this about me, is that I'm a nurse, so I know how important prevention is to good health. It's important for me to be here today to recommend the cold remedy that is clinically proven in clinical studies and has a clinical studies behind it. Because of the long taping schedules, many interviews and appearances and performance I do, it's absolutely necessary to always have this cold remedy on hand because a scratchy throat can hinder a busy life, especially when I'm out singing chic c'est la vie. <laughs> um, I, I have to travel frequently for my career, and it's imperative that I get to my obligations without catching the stones. We all know that we're exposed to more germs when traveling, and I always keep cold leaves in my purse and my carry-on, and I make sure that at the very first sign of a cold, I have my cold on me. And I love them because they're easy to take, they're lost in tourism, and they taste great. So I suggest everyone try cold because I know it really works. So thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Our next panelist you'll recognize if you watch TV. And he is the man behind the brand. Um, Ted Karkis is the chairman and CEO of Prophase Labs, he, which are the makers of Coldies. Ted is going to provide us a little bit of background on the company, um, how there is tremendous growth in the brand, and um, talk about some of the new Coldies products which will be introduced in the coming cold season. Mr. Karkis. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. So, uh, first of all, thank all of you. I thank all of you for coming today. Um, I'm going to get to the presentation in 20 seconds, um, but I want you to all to know this is kind of like a defining moment for our company, and uh, the reason this is a defining moment is because I became the CEO uh, three years ago, and it completely transformed and turned around the company, and this is the first time we posted an event like this, and I'm really excited because even though Coldies has been around for a while, we're a new company, and this is a new product, and we're bringing new life into it. And today is, is um, a part of the transformation of moving into the coming years when this is going to be a really big win. So thank you all for coming. Thank you, 5WPR, for putting this event together. Thank you, Countess Luann, for being here. And thank you, Dr. Collins, who will be speaking now. So with that, it all started in 1992. And I will try and go through these slides quickly. I'll try not to talk too fast. Ron told me, don't talk fast, but go through the slides quickly. So I'll, somehow, I'll think it's a lot. 1992, it all started when uh, Dartmouth College did a study uh, that showed that zinc gluconate glycine lozenges shortened the duration of the common cold. Uh, after 1992, our company formulated the perfect Coldies lozenge, which became Coldies. If you go to the next slide. Interestingly, the Cleveland Clinic in 1996 did a study. They wanted to prove that the 1992 uh, study was not valid. They wanted to prove that our product didn't work, that didn't shorten the cold. They, they didn't believe that there was a product out there that could do it. So they did a highly sophisticated, double-blind, placebo-controlled study. And they were shocked to find out that the product not only worked well, it worked incredibly well. We had highly statistically significant results. And this created an enormous amount of hoopla around the country. There was a tremendous amount of media. Consumers were dying to, pry the, uh, dying to uh, try the product. Uh, we couldn't keep it on the shelves. At that time, I was an early investor um, who invested in the company uh, and provided the working capital that was used to ramp up production of the product. Jumping forward, actually, um, we then did a couple of more studies. This was interesting. The Heritage School in Utah uh, wanted to do a study. They actually take care of wayward kids age 12 to 18 years old who were getting sick a lot. Their health care costs were high, and they were using a ton of antibiotics. And they were trying to figure out a way to, to make their kids healthier and, and lower the cost, the health care costs. So they actually came to us. They've been studying zinc, and they wanted to find the right product to try on their kids. And they actually gave their kids one lozenge every day. And the results were dramatic. The incidence of colds dropped dramatically. 
the use of antibiotics dropped dramatically. Their health care costs dropped dramatically. They then did an, an additional study. The first was called a retrospective study. The second was called a prospective study. Uh, well, that's a lot of gibberish to basically say they did two studies that showed that when they gave the children or the kids or the teenage kids lozenges once a day, the incidence of colds dropped dramatically. They were much healthier. Technically, we cannot recommend the product prophylactically because these were not what's called double-blind placebo-controlled studies, but the results are certainly interesting. We can certainly show the results, and there are <coughs> plenty of people out there, consumers, who actually do take the product regularly to stay healthy. Um, going on from these studies, more recently, if you go to the next slide, uh, there's something called the Cochrane Collaboration. This is completely independent of us. We didn't even know about this. Dr. Collins actually pointed out to me that medical doctors think very highly um, of the Cochrane Collaboration uh, studies and reviews. They basically review all the literature that's out there. And so their focus was zinc to figure out does zinc really work. And um, what's interesting, and this is where some of the confusion comes in with regard to zinc, uh, a lot of people will write articles that say that it's inconclusive whether or not zinc works in shortening your cold. But the confusion is the fact that, yes, there are some studies that show that zinc works and some studies that show that zinc does not work. So then you come to the conclusion, well, it's inconclusive whether or not zinc works. The reality is with coldies, it's a special formulation that works a certain way. And because of that, every study that's been done on coldies has worked. The problem is there are other zinc studies that do not have the unique formulation that we have, and they don't work, and I'm going to explain why. Thank you. Uh, in any event, in the, and I'm going to explain why the, with the science in a little bit, and Dr. Collins is going to explain a little bit more. Uh, in any event, what Cochrane Collaboration found, they went through every study that was a legitimate double-blind placebo-controlled study that was done the right way, that had the right formulation. They found conclusively that zinc shortens your cold without question. And the only thing I'm disappointed about in the study is that our formulation is even better than what they studied because they studied some other formulations that kind of diluted the results. Um, our results on our product are actually even stronger than Cochrane Collaboration. But the Cochrane Collaboration was conclusive. This was uh, completed in early 2011, about a year ago. This got a lot of press about a year ago. And people got excited about the same over again. And uh, actually, before we go on to the next slide, I should just explain this. The way our product works, is it releases zinc ions in your mouth. Uh, these zinc ions are then absorbed by your upper respiratory system. Um, the scientific theory is that the rhinovirus, or the cold virus, enters your system through your upper respiratory system and attaches to receptors in the upper respiratory system, and that's how it grows. Zinc ions interfere and inhibit the cold virus from attaching to these receptors. So there's real science behind why our product works. But the most important thing you need to understand is that our product works because it's releasing zinc ions in your mouth that are being absorbed by your upper respiratory system. If you take zinc as a dietary supplement, it's going into your stomach. It may provide some immune support, similar to some of our competitors that have all kinds of dietary supplements, vitamins that include zinc and other minerals. Those are all products that go into your stomach that may provide immune support. That has nothing to do with a product that releases zinc ions in your mouth that are absorbed by your upper respiratory system to block the cold virus from replicating. So whether or not those other zinc products work, whether or not other dietary supplements work, I'm not here to comment on those. I just know that our products specifically, we're very careful, and all our new products that we're coming out with all use the same formula in that they release the same amount of zinc ions in your mouth. So I'm going to talk in a minute about the oral spray and some of our other products. They all have that same unique formula. So we're always confident all our products um, have that unique formula to shorten your color. Can we go to the next slide? So what do we have here? Um, so my role as CEO. So I was actually just telling Captain Slade a, a little bit about the story. As I said, I was an investor in 2009. I wasn't happy with the direction of the company. The prior management was focusing on a bunch of other businesses. They were really ignoring the Coldies brand for several years. Sales had been declining uh, for several years. And so I came in as a CEO. I completely restructured the company. I had a Wall Street background, so I had to learn how to be a CEO. I had to learn the consumer products industry. I had to learn how to run the company, while at the same time turning around a product that was sales for going like this. So um, first thing we did, besides restructuring the company, we significantly improved the packaging. This pops off the shelf now. 
Um, when you put several of these packages together, it has a really nice branding effect of, of the red and, and the coldies going across. And so on the shelf where we have like, you know, this much shelf space, it, it really pops off the shelf. We did a lot of research with the packaging. I'm really proud of that. We also improved the flavor. Uh, the one thing that people always said about the consumer, I, I actually listened to the consumers, and even our loyal consumers that have loved us since 1996, a lot of them don't like the taste of lozenges or didn't like the taste of our lozenges. The zinc ions being released in your mouth do, um, to some people, think that it has a slight zinc aftertaste. Some people actually like that because they know it's working. Other people don't. So we significantly improve uh, the flavors. There are new natural uh, flavor technologies, masking technologies that exist today that didn't exist 10, 15 years ago. So we improve the packaging, improve the taste. Um, I also now include an insert in every package with a message from me. So if you open up any box of Goldies, you'll see a uh, cardboard insert inside. One side is typically a testimonial. Um, the other side is a message from me. The message varies. Uh, the, the bottom line is in every insert, at the bottom is an email address where you can write to me. I personally read and respond to every email. So if you want to test me on this, open up the package, take it home with you, try the product, write me an email, and you'll see whether you get a personal response from me. But for some reason, I have one guy now who writes me two or three times a week. He calls, him, he calls himself the Coldies Ranger, and he hands out samples of the product. He's always asking me for samples that I give them to him. And uh, anyway, that's all the story of itself. I don't know if I want to read them. But um, anyways, one of our best consumers. Um, the bottom line of why I mentioned the insert, two things. One, I want to show that there's a person behind our company. I really believe in our product, and I really want to convey that message. And you can see I did a commercial last year, which is a pretty good commercial. It was heavily researched. I have a small part in it, uh, which I'm a little embarrassed about. I'm doing a little better. I hired an acting coach. Where I actually just came back from filming new commercials this year. I just flew in last night. I'm really proud of the new commercials coming out in a couple of months. But the bottom line is there's a real person behind the company. I'm really proud of our products. Our products really work. There's a value proposition with every product. And what I mean by that, it works well. It's inexpensive. You can literally shorten your code. If the lozenges are $4 to $8. For $4 to $8, you can, instead of being sick for 9 or 10 days, you can be sick 3 or 4 days. In some cases, if you take it at the very first time of the cold, you're well the very next day. Why would anybody want to be sick and miss work, miss school? for four to eight dollars. So I think this is a great value proposition. Same goes for our new products. Um, so anyway, let's uh, move on. What do we have here? Uh, yeah, we had, oh wait, you gotta go back to the slide for one second. So we implemented a new R&D effort. Uh, we have new products coming out. So now that our brand is turned around, our company is turned around, our R&D effort has been in existence for a couple of years. I'm really excited about the new products that are coming out for this cough cold season. You're really going to see our company over the next couple of years. Coldies is going to become a household name. We're going to get more shelf space in the retailers. You're going to see more advertising by us. We're going to be